go-ahead to raise rates in July. There's more than 70% chance. The question is what happens after that? Will they go again? Or will they just pause? And it does, you know, yesterday I highlighted the, the fiscal side of things. We don't talk about it enough. And I, and I really have to thank Rob Kaplan, the former Dallas Fed president, for sort of enlightening me, enlightening me on how much fiscal policy right now is working against monetary policy, right? Monetary policy is trying to tighten and squash inflation. All you have to do every day is Google ARPA, yeah. American Rescue Plan Act, we talked about and infrastructure. This yesterday. I did it today. And guess what? More. These counties are yeah. trying to figure out how to spend the money. Truro, Massachusetts gets ARPA money for wastewater project, just according to the now, Cape Cod Daily News, for instance. The, We're picking all sorts of ARPA places. is, just defined for our viewers sure. again, the I mean, we've got ARPA, which, is, which one was that? American Rescue Plan Act, which is the $2 trillion that the Biden administration passed when they came in, where a lot of people said, okay, we already had trillions in COVID, but we still, so have, to but we still have it. More. Okay, Correct. so that was not the Infrastructure Act. Nope, which that's I, something else. So that's separate, even though these are infrastructure deals in many way, or things that money that is being used for everything they're getting used right. in mental they're building mental health centers they're buying ambulances for municipalities then and you've then got there's obviously the ira and well, which is also right. kind of infrastructure related even though it's not infrastructure that's the inflation reduction correct act, which is actually an inflation addition act that is the <laughs> largest of the three i believe right in terms of the overall expenditure or no correct that yeah. no that that's trillions of dollars and that you know I'm not criticizing them because a lot of it is obviously very necessary to rebuild and build us for the future and things like EVs, for, right? And broadband. And, and, well, and, and renewables. And renewables. Yeah. It's all, it, that's all necessary and stuff. Solar. But, but it, all I'm saying is that there's this infusion of cash going into municipalities and mayors of towns are figuring out, trying to figure out what to do with it. And the bottom line is we've got a tight labor market with not enough workers and we have a ton of money still flowing in to get these projects built and done. Department of Transportation is still every day dispersing from the Infrastructure mm -hmm. Act and, and that's, that's adding to these projects as well. All of that makes it harder for the Fed to fight inflation. But, but on the plus side, makes it harder for us to go into recession. We wonder why are we not in recession? We're getting manufacturing is in recession, right? You see the PMI numbers under 50 for several months in a row, but services are not and jobs are strong. And I think that's part of the explanation. Let's continue the conversation now with the former Fed.